Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to create this design right here. This is another winter sport niche. This one's for skiing. I'm gonna show you guys how you can go ahead and alter some pre-existing graphics and create a design like this. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, please do stick around. Okay, so we are on Canvas homepage here. I'm going to be creating a custom size right here. So I'll click that. I'm going to select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And that will pull up my blank page. Now I will be designing for black. I always like to design for the dark color shirts because those do tend to sell more than the lighter colors. Unless of course it's a specific holiday like St. Patrick's Day where I might wanna design specifically for green or something like that. In general though, you'll want the darker colored shirts, usually the black, heather gray, dark heather gray, and navy blue are gonna be your top three selling shirts. So you always wanna optimize for those. So for today's video, we're gonna do another sort of winter sports video as it is the season for winter sports. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how we can find some graphics and sort of alter them to make them our own because there's some really cool you know, graphics that you can use here in the elements section. So if we were to go up to elements on the left-hand side of the page, and let's say I was going for snowboarding. There are obviously a lot of snowboarding designs that I did show you guys earlier um, in the last video anyways, of different snowboarding, snowboarding silhouettes, um, goggles. And so you can just sort of, you know, browse through here, see if there's anything that you like. If you know you're looking for something specific, you can always do that. There are some really cool ones here like, like these two. And if you click on those, they'll usually bring up some magic recommendations, which can sometimes have some other cool things, though sometimes not. There's some cool skateboarding ones there if you're doing skateboarding. And so sometimes I just like to go through the magic recommendations. Not too fond of those. There is one that I know I'm looking for, and if I can't find it right away, I'm gonna narrow down my search a little bit. And so here's one that I liked. This is another one that kind of has that logo-y look. And it comes up with some magic recommendations. And of course I can hit see all, and there's some cool ones with the helmets and the goggles and the boots. And so some of those are kind of cool that you can use. So the one that I wanna show you guys has to do with snowboarding, or was it skiing? Maybe it was skiing. Let's try skiing. Let's try skiing skull, which is what I really want. And so here we can find all the little skiing skull things there. And so that's pretty similar to what I want. There's a variation of that with some, you know, um, poles. There's another one there that's kind of cool. And so, okay, let's click this one. Is it gonna give me my magic recommendations? No. Okay, let me open this up. Let's view more from this guy. Let's go skiing. Boom, okay. So I found it. So sometimes when I'm looking for something and I can't quite find what I want, if you go and you go to any one of the, the little three buttons at the top and you say, see more from this artist, and then you may have to do a little search under that artist for what you're looking for, but then you'll usually find a good grouping. And so this is the grouping that I wanted to show you guys. So he's got a lot of, uh, I don't know if this is a he or a she. They've got a lot of cool designs here for skiing and snowboarding that kind of almost looks sort of logo-y. That is the one that I wanted. It's got the poles and it's got some writing. I'm gonna change the writing a little bit, but not much. But so these are all, you know, pretty cool things that I like. By the way, if you see something that you you like that you think is cool, sometimes I'll just click on it because then it will save it to my recently used and so I can always come back to it easily. And so that's one way that I just try to save things. And so now that I've kind of found more or less what I want, which is this one here, I can close this down. Now I know you can't see it very well because it's dark. So what I'm gonna do is be changing the colors here. So the black, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to white. And the tan, let's go ahead and make that black. And so I've kind of just switched it around here. Now it says, just keep calm and go skiing. I like it. 
I'm gonna change it just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it the other direction. So I'd really rather him be facing the other way. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna flip horizontal. So now he's facing the other direction. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this writing and put in my own writing. I'm gonna say the same thing. So I'm gonna keep the slogan, I liked that. And I did trademark check that by the way. So it is free to use, just uh, keep calm and go skiing is totally free to use as is, just keep calm and go snowboarding. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do some um, background remover or some you know magic eraser on it. Now it may not let you do that with the image itself, so it's not gonna let you. So one way to get around that is just to save this image. So I can save this as just you know skull or whatever I wanna title it. Go ahead and download this as a transparent background PNG. Hit download, give it a sec. And then what we're gonna do is go over to our uploads and we're gonna upload what we just downloaded. Perfect. And so now I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna replace it with this. Now they look exactly the same, only this will now allow me to do a, you know, sort of magic eraser on it. So now I'm editing it as photo and look, I got a lot more options. So now I can go ahead and select magic eraser. And what I can do is just erase all of the writing you know, being careful not to erase any of the design that I don't want, but you can always do this with any graphic that you like and erase anything you don't like, put in anything that you do want, add to it, subtract to it. And so it's a really cool way that you can go ahead and sort of make some of these your own pretty easily. So if you ever find an image that you like, you can play with it a bit. Cool, and then I'm gonna bring my brush size down a little bit for this area because I'm in a smaller area there. That's cool. By the way, every time you let up on your finger, it uh, erases and that takes a second. So if you can keep your finger down and just sort of move around the page like I did, it's just a little bit more efficient. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, perfect. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little back arrow and I'm gonna see if I did a good job. So it looks like I might've missed a little spot right there. Maybe, yeah, a little spot there. So if you missed any spots, this is really easy to adjust now. You just go back to Magic Eraser and you can just, if you find that spot, click it. And then there was one spot over here that I missed. Kinda hard for me to see. So I'm just gonna kinda come up in this area and hope I got it. And let's go back and see if I got them. Yep, yeah, okay, so now there's no more, no more spots, no more dots. I just have the graphic, and now what I can do with this graphic is I can put the text that I want, which will be the same text, because I did like that saying, only I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you know, change the font and, and maybe the layout a little bit. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard, that will pull up a text box. And I'm gonna go ahead and put, just how they did, just uh, keep calm. And the text likes to show up in black. I want it to be white so I can see it. So let's go ahead and just select white there. And just keep calm. And that is gonna be curved around, the, sort of around the head like it was before. I'm gonna hit another, oops, another one. It was gonna say, and I'm gonna put and here, another text box, go. So in the original design, they had and go here and here, and it was in cursive and it was really small and I felt like it was hard to see. So that's why I'm changing this. So I'm gonna put and go here, and then one more text box, skiing, and skiing, I'm gonna put down here across the bottom. And so I'm gonna do it more that style. So it's a little bit different, not too much. And so now we're gonna go ahead and pick some fonts. Now I did look around at lots of different fonts and I found one that I liked pretty much for all of these. So to keep it simple, I'm just gonna use one font. The font that I found that I liked was one called Alike, and this is a Canva font, which means that you should all have it. And what I can do is hit change all, it'll change all of them. 
And so there it is. And now from here, I think I want these all to be in caps. So if I want it to all be in caps, I can click any one of these text boxes, hit the little A, big A right here, and it will make them in all caps. I usually like to start in lowercase because if I'm not sure what font I'm going to use, some of them will not look good if they're in all caps. Like if you went with a script, you'd want it to be lowercase. Some of the more decorative ones, even if they have all uppercase letters, the uppercase version is a little bit more swirly and uh, it's just easier to start in lowercase, pick my font, and then from there I can go to uppercase if I want to. Um, so that's just a little trick that I've learned. So now I've got my basic layout. So let's go ahead and make this all sized the way I want. So I've got my just keep calm. By the way, I can bold this too. So I don't know if I bolded it, maybe I did. Might look good and bold. Let's see. Just keep calm and go skiing. Yeah, that's cool. So let's take this. We're gonna go to effects, scroll down, you'll see curve. And now we can change how curved it is. It's actually curved pretty good right there, but I want it to come up a little bit, centered. And that actually works pretty well. I like that, okay. And go, and again, we can pick whatever size we want for this. So that is 306, so I pretty much want this to be the same, 306. Now I may go ahead and change the letter spacing on this one just to make it a little wider. So to do that, go up to the top, you'll see a little arrow up and down says spacing. If you click there, you can change the letter or line spacing. So if I was to bring this over to the right, it's going to bring those letters apart just a little bit. Now you don't want it to be too obvious, but you can bring them apart just a little bit where it's not super obvious, but it's going to make it a little bit wider so that it's not quite so lopsided. And then I've got my go skiing. And so I've got skiing, I can go ahead, center it there in my design. And so that looks pretty cool. So once you have it sort of the way you want it, we're gonna group it all together and then I can resize it and move it in the frame. So I'm gonna wanna bring it up a little bit. So if you click anywhere outside of all your images, usually in the corner, so go ahead, left click, drag over everything, that's gonna group it all together. And so from there, I can move this all as one piece up to the top where I want it, and I can go ahead and resize it so that it is a little bit wider there, which I like, and make sure everything's centered. And there we go. So now it is filling the whole page. And so that makes for a cool shirt because it's really simple, it's cool, it's filling the entire page. So I really like that. And it's just a little bit different than what the original version was. So now I'm gonna go ahead and title this, uh, just keep calm and go, oops, skiing. And by the way, if you like this layout, you can you know keep using the layout and just keep putting different words in. So if you've got any other skiing you know, phrases that sound good, you can just sort of change out the words but keep the layout and that's one way that you can do it too. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit download. It's going to be a transparent background. I'm gonna leave it as a PNG and there it is. And now it is ready to go on t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, you know, anything that you like. Um, and of course you can always resize this for different products. If you wanted to make this a sticker, you would want to change all of the white to a dark color because a sticker is gonna have a white background, but you could do that pretty easily. You might have to go up to the original and, um, redo you know the erasing part but pretty fast and easy to do if you have any questions about this or how to alter graphics go ahead drop it in the comment section below i'll try to get back to you guys as quickly as i can i hope your fourth quarter sales are doing well and i do hope to see you guys again next week that's it for today's video if you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.